Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about aggravated domestic violence, basically felony domestic violence. What makes an aggravated uh, domestic violence a felony? Well, it's when a person has a third or subsequent domestic violence charge within seven years. That means they have one domestic violence conviction, they get another one a couple years later, and then they get another one several years after that. Automatically, it becomes a felony. Um, what makes it domestic violence? It's because the person the assault was committed on, they live together, they domicile together. This can be a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, um, or just a roommate, or domestic partners of the same sex. That now qualifies. The punishment on this type of felony, it's either probation with four months to a year in jail, or you can get prison six months to 2.5 years depending on the injury. And the injury does not have to be severe. It's just simply a harmful or offensive touching. It can be a scratch, a bruise, something of that nature. Now what are the defenses to this charge? Well, self-defense. If two people are getting into it and one begins attacking the other person and they defend themselves and they grab on or hold or somebody makes a furtive motion that they're going to punch and they push them away and hit them in the face, we've seen that a lot. The problem is when the police are called, they will arrest one or both people. If one person has a mark on them or has been bleeding, they automatically look to the other person. So a lot of times the officers won't listen to what you say and we have to prove it was self-defense. How do we do this? Well, sometimes we have to show that the alleged victim is lying uh, or that they're exaggerating and we'll go to social media pages, we'll check out photos, we'll see what they've said on other posts. We'll look at divorce papers that either with this person or with other spouses to see if they've made similar allegations. If need be, we'll even interview ex-spouses to come to a defense showing that this person who made the allegation is not trustworthy and they don't have a good truth or veracity capabilities. We've done a lot of these. We've done hundreds and hundreds of these. If you go to our victory section, you'll see and if this situation applies to you, a loved one, or a family member, give us a call, or you can go to our website at dmcantor.com.